don't have to be alone to be achingly lonely. In an effort to change this, move forward and reach out for a better emotional life, I tried internet dating. I'd had a few good conversations online, a couple of meetups and new friendships. Then the magic started. I thought I'd found someone I could really connect with, who understood me and showed insights into what I believed were shared experiences. Unfortunately, the man I believed I was chatting to was an innocent man who had his identity stolen and used in romance scams. Money came into the conversations, and to begin with, I was very cautious, having heard about such scams. I didn't think I could fall victim like I did. But the level of detail was such, and the timeline related to real-world events, and my questions and doubts all received realistic and plausible answers, that I sent money as requested, believing that it would benefit many people, and my family included. The turning point came when I showed his photo to a friend, and her friend explained that it had to be an old photo due to the uniform being worn at the time it was taken. Then another friend asked if I'd done a reverse image search, which I'd never heard of, but it brought up all the photos I'd been sent, along with messages that were very similar to some I had received, clearly scripted. I reported my story to the police, who have been very helpful and supportive, along with victim support also. It seems I am in the minority, and that I believe this is a scam. Many others sadly continue to believe their contact, having invested more time and money than I did, however bizarre their stories. They assure me that although I feel stupid, these people are so highly skilled in manipulation and IT that many people just like me fall victim to them all the time. As well as money, I have lost self-confidence. I struggle to hold myself together day by day. I am forgetful and can no longer trust my gut instincts. I've also become wiser and learnt lessons which I would like to share. Keep your chat on the dating site chat room, at least until you have met. Don't move across to a different platform. This is often encouraged by scammers as it's harder to monitor. If encouraged to keep quiet about the relationship until whenever, think red flag. If you are seriously considering sending money at all, however much, talk it over with someone you know and trust first. Even if think you won't be believed, there likely to be a reason for this. Small amounts can be used as a hook, with larger sum requested later. Perform a reverse image search. Free apps are available and simple to use. Make sure that what you are being told can be backed up by evidence before you commit to anything.